Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of High School Years. So in the last one, we went to a crazy Halloween party, the best party I've ever had in The Sims, and I thoroughly enjoyed it, but it was time for school because Gia was out super, super late. So we are currently at school uh, while she's just chilling on the steps. But for some reason, my Sims have been acting up a little bit at school. So I don't know if my game is broken. Very much could be the case, but <laughs> we're gonna see how things go. If it is broken, then we might have to figure some things out. Oh yeah, oh my God. So I also randomly found a mod where you can meet people at work, like your coworkers and stuff, because I'm always like, you know, your Sims go to work. You don't ever really like meet people. But I guess this actually works. Wait, that's kind of sick. So we met a sim named Margaret. Wait, I kind of live for that. All right, so we have our first class. Now, we did have a fight <laughs> in the last episode with Mallory and we did lose, but you know, Gia's in denial thinking that she actually did win. Basically at this point, we have prom coming up very, very soon. I think it's, oh wait, why doesn't it show prom? Uh-oh, will it show later on? I swear if prom doesn't happen, it's gonna be a little upsetting. So I fully haven't decided who we're gonna go to prom with. I was thinking that potentially maybe one of the Sims that we've met. I know that she's had her eye on Frankie, but for some reason the relationship there has been a little bit low. And then we also have Trey as an option that we could potentially go with maybe. So I'm thinking that we do that or we just go with friends. I'd like for her to maybe shoot her shot and see because she does have a crush on Frankie. Well, at least that's what we found out before. What is going on in here? Was she in trouble, Miss Cassandra? I don't know. Also, let's check out to see if there's any notes in our locker. I'm sure Mallory probably left us something nasty in there. I wouldn't be surprised. But we also have um, Harvest Fest coming up on Thursday. Is your mama a llama because you look like one? <gasps> Wait, that's so mean. Uh, her mom is dead. Uh, are you kidding me? That's so insensitive. Wait, why are you guys not... Why are they shocked? Is there something that she's wearing that's not good? Because it says privacy invaded. Three hours. I'm going to cancel that and see what happens. Let's go freshen up at our locker real quick. And then we'll head over to lunch. Now, I wanted to see... Wait, Greta. Oh, was Greta the one that said that? Oh, yeah, we did have a bad relationship with Greta for some reason. I don't understand why. But she's definitely feeling hurt. Gia feels wronged by Greta. I mean, as you should. Oh, she's a rival? <laughs> Perceived as basic looking. Okay, so I guess we have another rival. Oh my god, adding more to the list, I guess. I think technically I have like two. I don't know what happened with her and Frankie, so maybe we don't go for him? I don't know. He doesn't really go to school with us. I mean, technically, yes, but like, um, he's not currently in school with us, so there is that, but... What else are we... We're still a part of the computer team. I think if I do try and do live streaming, I really want to get her into that. I don't think it'll work. I think it'll, we'll have to actually cancel the after school activity. I'm not sure unless we pick a different time potentially. So I've been thinking about getting her a pet because... Well, Javier has been thinking about getting her a pet because ever since she moved here, you know, she obviously felt alone, but now she's kind of found her like group of friends that she hangs out with. So she's feeling a little bit better, but in the back of his mind, he still feels like he needs to make it up to her some way. So maybe getting her like a furry friend might help with that, uh, at least for him to not feel as guilty about like moving away. So I think we might do that. Can you grab your lunch, hun, and eat? It feels like everybody's kind of glitchy. Like they just either stand still or don't do anything. And then like, look at this. Hello? Like how am I supposed to play this game if this is happening? Gia, eat your lunch, girl. Okay, reset and that worked, question mark. Okay, what is like, there's no reason that should be a problem. Where are you going? We haven't even finished our lunch. Are we eating with the principal? Like, what is going on? Oh, I guess we are. Ask about day. I mean, since we're here, we might as well just chat. Are you gonna eat? <laughs> like, what is going on? 
I love how everybody always walks through her office. Like, she's just holding her lunch. Okay, I don't think we're eating it. But you have class in literally a few minutes. Nooch. What is she wearing that's causing this? Is it her pants? Please don't be her pants. Like, look. No. She has to see what's happening, Glitch. We'll just go to class and then- Be caught! No! Are we in trouble? Try to talk way out of detention. Okay, she's gonna try and get herself out. Oh, okay. We're not getting detention. Okay. I guess she sweet-talked her way out of that, which I guess is impressive. I don't know. Okay, I guess we skipped class today. Like, look at her. She's not even going in. Guys, I know. Like, we're so popular now. It's crazy. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But everybody just keeps wanting attention for me. I wonder, since I've gotten the mod, if there's other clubs that I could maybe have her be a part of. But I think we'll check that out in a bit. What is this? Avoided consequences from successfully convincing principal. Gia almost got caught skipping class. Good thing she's so convincing that she avoided detention. Gia seemed a little inattentive in class today. I mean, do you blame her? She didn't get any sleep. She was out partying all night. You know, do you think she's going to be in the full headspace? She's probably still, you know, a little drunk, maybe hungover. Um, she was high. So, like, there was a lot of things that probably, you know, added to... Her being the way she was uh, in school today. Oh, look what's going on. You guys are hanging out. Imagine if there was an interaction where you could write on the desk. This one has like writing on it. That would have been cool. Oh, no. Are you guys having relationship problems? But now she's laughing. Jeffrey. Outstanding work, G. I've noticed your impressive grades, which makes you eligible for early graduation. Would you like to? Why is Jeffrey calling me about that? Do you work for the school board? Gia's performing superbly. She can graduate early if she talks to the principal or uses the computer. Well, I don't know about that because I kind of want to take part in prom and stuff like that. So I'm pretty sure if I graduate early, that won't be the case here, right? So. Oh, it says we have 20 days left. I thought we had less. Do we not? Oh, you're already back? Okay, we still have our Halloween decorations up, which I think is fine. I don't really expect them to have their stuff put away. But Gia is fairly tired. Are you also tired? Okay, he's doing okay. So I'm gonna have her come over here and grab something to eat since she didn't really eat her lunch at school. Um, and then we'll have her head to sleep. So I think what I want him to do is meet up with Kit uh, because obviously he has the divorce case that he wants to talk about and, you know, settle that. So we're gonna go ahead and probably meet up with him at a cafe or something. Guys, hello? Oh my god, this is actually frustrating. How am I supposed to play this game? <laughs> Excuse me. I don't think I have any outdated mods. I recently updated everything, so I don't understand. Okay, what's going on with you? Oh, the fear of dead-end job. Dude, literally, it makes absolutely no sense for him. Can I get rid of it? It doesn't make sense. Because he moved here recently, so he's obviously not over his job. Like, he was excited to work, so why would he be all of a sudden, like, over it? You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure we're very close to being able to afford a computer. I'm actually going to go ahead and put these back up for sale. And once we sell, maybe these two outfits will officially just buy her her computer for her to start streaming and stuff. Oh, we still have the beds in here. I totally forgot. <laughs> Wait, I'm just going to put these away because if we have a future sleepover, then, you know, at least we'll be able to have that. But she's been watching the streamer Peyton um, on her phone and she's kind of gotten inspired to want to stream. So that's what's making her consider actually getting into it. Why are you cleaning and not eating? I mean, you know what? We could probably go out to eat with Kit. So let's just do that, actually. Where did we go with that other guy? I completely forgot his name. I don't know if we went here. Hello, Kit. It's good to see you again. We have some business to talk about. But let's go ahead and ask about his day and then we'll go inside. Oh, you like the rain? Has your day been great? That's fantastic. Okay, anyways, let's go inside and get ourselves a table. Actually, this is where we were. We've been here. Change of plans. We're gonna go to the Old Quarter Inn restaurant. Oh, he's actually wearing his like formal attire as well. He's like, I'm here for business, so I'm gonna wear my tie. <laughs> oh wait, there's a two-seater right here. And this one's a little bit further out too. And it's like, has a window view. That's perfect. Hello, table for two. Is Kit still here? Okay, good. Oh. Hi, Kit. 
He's so cute. I literally love him. Go sit. Let's get ourselves a meal settled out first, and then we'll talk. I mean, we could get some drinks in us, I guess. Let's do, Juice on the Rock seems to be the chef's choice today, so we'll do that. And then, let's see, what should we do for food? Lobster tortellini. I feel like he would have the lobster, and then maybe you'll have the, ooh, actually, the herb crusted salmon. Let's do that, yeah, we'll have you do this. In the meantime, I think we should talk about um, excuse me, Kit. No, 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 honey. N absolutely not. I'm pretty sure him and Stella, yeah, they are currently separated. Not broken up or divorced yet. Kit and Stella have taken so drastic a decision yet. They're just taking a break, trying to figure things out. Meanwhile, Kit is trying to divorce because he knows that she's been cheating on him. Can you please sit down? You, he's already ordered for the table. We have stuff to talk about. Kit! Why do Sims do this? Just sit down. Literally sit down. Like, I don't know what else you need to be doing right now. Why does he seem so nervous? <laughs> okay, let's talk meet prospective client. Even though we already know he's our client, but I just want to, you know, do interactions that have to do with his lawyer career. Uh, chat about scandalous lawsuit. Kids deals show signs of the sage personality archetype. Sage seems to seek wisdom and focus on finding the truth in every situation, which he is trying to do with this, right? So, can we actually talk about his relationship with him? Oh, I guess, you know, we can, like, get to know each other, too, at this point. Since we're out to eat, um, ask if Javier has children. Like, go back and forth and chat about things. What is she... Oh, she's checking up on us. Ah, New client good. obtained. Javier has acquired Kit as a client. More clients means more responsibility, but that also means more earnings. Oh, I mean, okay, let's just pretend this already happened before, but he's officially a client now, which is good. Yes, I am a parent. I have one child. Well, you know what? Since we're all so curious, let's ask if he has any kids. Yes, I am a parent. I have one child as well. Wow, oh my god, that's such a coincidence. Is he talking about how hard it is to have teens? Because literally... Javier totally understands. We can probably get the divorce papers set and everything like that because we have evidence, well, not actually, like I don't have concrete evidence in my hands, you know, to show you guys, but <laughs> Kit hired a private investigator to find if whether or not Stella has been cheating on him and he got photos of her being with somebody else let alone things just have not been adding up for a very long time now and just he always feels like there's pressure put on his family to be a certain way and he just doesn't like that and things have just really changed between them and so he just wants to find someone who is like-minded they've been separated for a bit now but they still live together because he just doesn't want to leave her high and dry even though you know their relationship isn't solid and she's also the mother of his child now mallory and her father have a really good relationship she's basically a daddy's girl and he always stuck by her and everything like that but the thing is, is like he doesn't know <laughs> how mallory is at school but i think mallory being the way she is is probably a result of the way her mom has been treating her throughout her life and having her be like this perfect child and everything like that so there was definitely a lot of pressure on her which i think i brought up in the past excuse me where is my dinner coming kit has learned the following traits about javier jealous wait he's a jealous sim i didn't even realize that complain about love life i mean we definitely could oh here's our dinner okay there we go finally took us a while thank you so much okay at least now that i'm controlling both of them i can actually have them both eat i love how they're both standing and eating instead of sitting and eating guys sit down and eat please no we're standing today apparently he already ate his dinner <laughs> like okay <laughs> love that Oh my god, it's two o'clock in the morning. Well, listen, business is business. <gasps> Imagine you could do cheers. I don't know why I feel like these two would like go hang out and go to a bar and play pool. Like, I feel like they would do that. Come on, drink up, buttercup. What are you taking notes about? Wait, what? I've never seen that. <laughs> Interaction, I think. What did he do? I don't actually know. 
Conduct product survey. Oh, is that what he was doing? Oh, we can tell him about temporary separation. Okay, that's what I wanted. That's exactly what I was looking for about his relationship. I wonder if Javier will say anything or if it's just like a thing. Girl, you better be sleeping. <gasps> Gia. Oh my God. Okay, we should probably leave soon. But I think their relationship has bumped up. Oh, look. Oh. Oh my God. Sad news, but hey, you know, the best way to get over romantic disappointments Forget them by flirting with new love interests. Give me a call anytime and we'll go to a bar. See if anyone catches your eye. That's so perfect. Are you kidding me? What did I just say? I said I could see these two being like bar buddies or something like that. Okay, well, listen, maybe that's something that we should consider is going out to the bar and hanging out. I guess let's just give him a hug goodbye. I mean, you know, we're tired. We're going to say bye. It was good to see you again. Glad that we got to catch up and, you know, get to know each other a lot better than we did before. But thanks for hanging out. All right, let's go home. We'll hit you up again later. We can go out to a bar, okay? We're leaving. Bye. <laughs> later, Kit. Now all we have to do really is have, I guess, um, Javier figure out the whole divorce papers and then get that sent out to Kit. And we'll have that divorce going through uh very soon oh my god somebody bought my sweater oh i forgot to pay how do i always forget to pay every time i go oh my god gia girly please take care of yourself like what are you doing hun are you trying to die on me like that's not what we're doing here uh ship on plopsy 232 simoleons okay i think after this i'm thinking i'm just gonna get her her computer because if she has low fun we could have her play some games to up her fun even though we could go ahead and play some mobile games but girl mobile games are just not the same as computer games so <laughs> i wonder if that computer that came with one of the newest kits if that one's less expensive because if so i mean technically it's not really a computer now is it but i think it works just like a computer so i might just stick to that unless i go for like a proper pc Oh, this one's actually less expensive. It's 950 simoleons, which it's so cute. We could pretend it's a proper PC, right? Well, this will make more sense if she's wanting to become a streamer, right? I like the white. Actually, I think it'll make sense if we... Oh, no, my cat. <laughs> Honey, I love you, but we're not going to be rubbing against the microphone right now, okay? All right, so maybe we just start off with something small. But as we make money in streaming, maybe we can upgrade our setup. Do you know what I mean? Kind of live for this orange. It kind of ties in with this book right here. And it actually ties in with the desk as well. I think we'll do this. So this will be our beginning setup. Okay, cute. Love it. I think it'll function just like a computer though. Oh yeah, that's perfect. All right, girl, come here. There we go. I love video games. She is in her element and because she's doing something she prefers, increased her fun gains. So that just kind of shows that we can definitely get her into streaming then because if she actually thoroughly enjoys gaming, then we found our path. Is she listening to music as well? Oh. Girl, you're a metal girly? I didn't expect that. Okay. I just realized this is glitched because I made it smaller. <laughs> like I initially, when I saw this, I thought this was like a bunny computer. Like I thought this was like bunny ears, but it's like an, on an easel, which I think is really cute anyways. Oh my God, we should do homework, huh? Cause we have school very shortly. She likes metal music. I'll say yes. Cause she clearly does. Like when she turned that on herself. So <laughs> I guess she does. Ooh, it's so cloudy today. Oh, why are you wearing this? No, hen. Absolutely not. You can wear this. We haven't worn this yet, I don't think. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, let's go talk to Savannah since she's right here. Declare metal music eternally thrashes. I mean, I guess we can. Oh, they're hugging. Well, I didn't really expect that. Oh, okay, she's gossiping. I heard Molly works as an exotic dancer. Molly Prescott? I mean, uh, <sighs> didn't see that one coming. That's for sure. <laughs> Wait, can we see if, we, if she gossips again if there's anything else? 
I heard Julissa is super close with her pets. Like, super close. What is that supposed to mean? Grisham. I actually don't want to know what that's supposed to mean. Your social is getting up. Oh, hi, Molly. I have some questions to ask. Are you actually an exotic dancer or is this just rumors? Wait, how do we not know Molly? I swear we met her. Did we not? Oh, no. She's got her period. GeekCon is in town. <gasps> Maybe. Oh, my God. Wait. That's actually perfect. We could go there with her friends since she likes the whole gaming sphere. I think that's what we should do. We'll take uh, Cassandra and Savannah with us. How are our grades in school anyways? We have an A. Okay, that's good. Apparently we still have 20 days. Just kidding. 19 days left. Does that mean we're in... Am I in long lifespan? I forgot. What did I change to? Because there's no way this is normal. Norm... I swear last time I was doing lifespan, it said it was 13 days. Am I not wrong? I swear. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna just control, like, aging my way anyway. I don't think we're gonna go through the full 20 days. You don't like me? May I ask why? What exactly makes you not like me? I heard Dwayne spent a night in jail. Who the heck is Dwayne? Anyways, let's go talk to Cassandra and ask if she wants to go to GeekCon with us. Talk about posts made about Cassandra. Wait, what? There was a post made about Cassandra? Why is she so hyped? For what? Girl, apparently there was a post made about you. Gossip about classmate. Oh, she went she's checking the post, I guess. It was about video games and maybe she'll bring up GeekCon there and that, that's how we'll decide to go later. Oh, I think she wants to go. Oh, apologize for what? I mean, I guess if she's mad at me for some reason. I feel like Molly's always tense and mad. What is up with you, girl? Does anybody take the time to enjoy their lunch anymore? Obviously not. Let me see. Friends, add contact list. We can add Trey. I can't add anybody else. Let's add Molly as well. Let's message Trey and see if he responds to us. Because maybe even if, you know, oh no, the relationship is in the red. I didn't even realize. Because I can't, uh, I can't message Frankie. Prom is coming. The dance takes place on Saturday evening at Copperdale High School Auditorium. Dinner will be served at the venue and students are excited about the big night. Here are some ways to prepare a creative prom. Pose a sign, ask someone to prom, ask someone to prom as friends, or prepare your formal outfit. Ian? Oh, yeah. We're not graduating early. Leave us alone. Okay. So we gotta start figuring out who we're gonna go with. I mean, listen. If we get tonight by Trey or Frankie, I mean, we can literally just go to prom with Cassandra. Like, I don't think there's anything wrong with going to prom with your friends. But I'd like to attempt, you know, going with someone else. Okay, Gia's back. I think what we might do, though, maybe we should go over to the Steele's household and have Kit divorce Stella. Just so it looks like, you know, we got through all the divorce stuff with him, you know, as his lawyer and everything. Oh, you're uncomfortable oh yeah here hold on go to the wonderful store oh she actually going to the store i think she is oh here we go let's just buy the tampons pads and box we'll just buy two of them you already bought it so come back oh she's wearing dirty laundry that's why all right so it's the next day because i've completely forgot that i didn't finish recording this episode and i went to edit it and then i was like oh right so i need to wrap this up but basically we were supposed to go to geek con but that didn't happen um which i just noticed because she ended up going to her after school activity technically i could have just had her skip or something like that and then we could have just gone about it like that but you know it is what it is. Maybe we'll go to GeekCon another time. I feel like our social goes down so much. She definitely hasn't been talking to her dad as much, uh, which maybe we'll have her come down here and do so. I mean, she is hungry, so we could get her some leftovers and chat with him. So I think what I want to do is maybe before she goes to school, we can go ahead and adopt a pet. Now, I was trying to debate on whether I get her a cat or a dog, and I feel like maybe a dog would be a good idea, mainly because I want to walk around more here. Oh, her dad's in here. He's like, I haven't spoken to you in so long. Oh, he's listening to alternative music as well. My God, we're finding out her like... Wait, figure out differences. Excuse me? How can you be pregnant? There's no way. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, I was like, why is she like being nauseous and then doing that? No. <laughs> ask for permission to date? Wait, that's a thing? Wait, ask? Will you say yes? What if he says no? 
He's like, what? You want a date? <laughs> dating? I don't condone young people dating. You'll have plenty of chances when you go to university. You can date then. Are you serious? Dad? Oh, discuss stressed mood. Ask to reconsider stance on dating. That's so funny. Wait, why did he do that? I'm gonna have him call up and we'll get a dog. How, where is the thing? Is it this? Oh, wait, Amy looks cute. Wait, is this a puppy? Oh, it's an adult. I kind of want a pup. I think we're gonna go for Fei Fei. <laughs> what a cute name. Fei Fei, maybe Doris. Doris is a Siberian Husky. Yeah, I think we'll do these and we'll have them come through and we'll see. Personally, I find the cats in this game to be way cuter than the dogs. I feel like a lot of the dogs just have the same freaking face. Um, Eloise just became good friends with Gia. Wait, what? <gasps> oh, wait, is this Fei Fei? Wait, why are you so cute? Okay, I lied. They are still cute. Like some of them as puppies. Where are the other ones? Go interact. Wait, is this Cashy? Which one is this one? It is. Do you like each other? Oh, that seems like good. We can acquaintances. Okay, interact with Cashy. But you are kind of cute. Look at how big its nose is. You kind of remind me of like Scooby-Doo for some reason. I don't know why, but you do. Oh, maybe not him or her. I'm not gonna lie, Doris kind of scares me. Like, you're a little creepy. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, you might be cute when you get older, but let's see. How do we feel? Oh, not him. Okay, that just made my decision so much easier. Fei Fei, we're adopting you. Oh, are you aggressive? Yeah, I don't want an aggressive dog. Okay, we're definitely getting Fei Fei. Wait, let's see if they get along with uh, Javi, because if not, then maybe it won't be a good idea. Um, we apparently get, became acquaintances with Doris, but I don't know. Yeah? Oh, perfect. Okay, we're adopting you. Yay! Oh my god, getting a puppy for Gia. Oh, okay. Here's the thing. You guys will have to let me know a cute name for... Wait, actually, what's the gender of this dog? Is it a female? I didn't actually read. So I'm just going to keep it Fei Fei for now. Um, and we're just going to have it be Castillo. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, wait. What are you? It is a girl. Okay, she's a couch potato, stubborn, and friendly. Okay, Gia, come... Come greet your new puppy. Thank you so much for bringing the pups over, but we have found the one. That was easy. We have school coming up, but like, do we actually go to school? I don't know. I love her color too, and like the pink around her nose and her eyes. You're so precious. Oh no, she's not feeling good. Maybe we skip school today. I can't. I can either join or send alone. Maybe I ever go alone this time. And then we'll go figure out the whole deal with Javi. We'll have him work from home today. But I want him to go do, uh, what is this? Purpose of life. Oh my god. Get over, like these fears, I'm over them. Why do they keep using this door as like the front door? Do you know what I mean? Off to school she goes, bye, have a good day. I don't think she did her homework, so. <laughs> Oops, we're gonna have to get some stuff for Faye. So, there is that. Where is she? Where are you? Oh, she's in the laundry room. Ooh, let's do yellow because Gia likes the color yellow. But I'll, I don't know, the pink is kind of appealing to me. It looks cute. <laughs> Even though I'm pretty sure that's like me, which gross, but... Well, go watch some TV first off. Get your mood up. And then we'll go over to Kit's house and then get the divorce going over there. Oh, you're so cute. You're gonna be fine, I promise. The TV is not gonna hurt you, okay? I think this is the best thing I did is getting a pet. <laughs> Look at her eyes, <laughs> she's so scared. I feel like he would, they would add each other on Social Bunny. Should I do that? Let me see. Um, Open Social Bunny, be like, hey. Oh, he wants to be my contact. 
Didn't even notice that. Oh, Nadia does too. Okay, we your style is everything. Teach me your ways. You guys basically share a similar style. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, we're working from home, so let me see what we have to do. File court documents and attend a deposition. How? Using computer or the phone, choose the attend a deposition interaction. I haven't even worked from home, I don't think, before as a lawyer. So go ahead and change your outfit. It might actually change because it's cold outside anyways. So let's just head over there, get this sorted. Ooh, Miss Stella's outside. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is talk to Kit, be like, here's the papers. What? Stop, stop this. You have a purpose. Why are you angry? Losing control? No, you're not, you're fine. Get over it. Oh, Mallory's home. Okay. He's like, deal, deal. All right, come over here and surprise. Oh my God, the harvest test is tomorrow. Can I just divorce through here? Separate permanently angry? Do it. Oh, cheater. Oh my God, you can say why this love is dead. Loving another can't provide investment life crisis. Ghost of a partner, cheater. Kid's partner decided to go look elsewhere and fool around. Such a break of trust could only lead to one outcome. A woohoo life where a mistake, different gender orientation. Oh my God, cheater. Go, go, go. Divorce, divorce. Oh, this is actually so bad for Mallory, though. This is gonna be even worse for her. <laughs> Why does his voice sound like that? I think I forgot to change it. <laughs> I might have to go and change his voice. Because <laughs> I'm not vibing with it. No, he's like trying to let her down easy. But he's gonna present the evidence. <laughs> Where are you guys going? Oh, in front of the lawyer, of course. She's like, what? I would never! Oh, she's crying, but he feels like relieved. This song is really just <laughs> turn off. <gasps> they despise each other now. Kid is putting an ending to his romantic relationship with Stella. Does that mean they're actually divorced or no? Splitting up, yes, let's split up. Kid is done with this relationship. <gasps> oh my God, wait, is he drunk? Oh, he's sobering up. Wait, so we're officially over? Oh my God, wait. It still says spouse, divorcing. So are we not, we're in the process? Terrible match, it's probably best to stay apart. There's a lot of dislike here, like a lot. Resentful about d divorce. Kit has some resentment left over from his divorce. Kit may not enjoy being around Stella. I mean, duh, her. Why does she feel wronged? We should be feeling wronged. Wait, so did, I don't know if because of that mod, if it officially divorces, so let me see if I have to do it through here. Oh, I do have to do it properly through here. Okay, let's go divorce. Oh, she's mad. She's, the thing is, is like her life with Kit was so good. Well, not necessarily with Kit, more of his money because she was able to do so many other things with it. And now she's like left with basically nothing. So big yikes on you, Miss Thing. So, I mean, there probably was a point where they did love each other, but you know, things change over time. So one says hot and the other says be quiet. One says black and the other says go away. What total opposites? What a weird, <laughs> what a weird thing. Okay, uh, anyways. Well, he's gonna be very much angry now. So he's gonna need some time to chill out and cool off. Why am I, why is my camera jumping up? Please stop. Javier's just like, yep. I did that. Finished the divorce settlement. <laughs> well, on that note, I guess you're a single man who's... Why is my camera glitching? Hopefully, um, you'll be over it soon, okay? Oh my god, it's like really bad. So I think this is a good point to wrap up the episode because in the next one, I want to celebrate Harvest Fest and I'm going to invite over Kit and Mallory and that's not gonna really be something that G is gonna know uh she's he's just gonna say like he's inviting his friend and he has a daughter so I'm excited for that don't forget to leave me some name suggestions for the dog because I don't know what to name the dog and then also who should we go to prom with if it works out obviously Trey Frankie or just go with friends so let me know in the comments what you guys think uh, with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and go thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to consider a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll talk to you guys in a new video very soon bye guys